What's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. Happy Thursday. Uh, it's about 5.35 on uh, California time. Driving home from my son's track meet. He's in the passenger seat. Hello. Eating McDonald's. What's up, Curtis? What's up, Curtis? My son's eating some, some McDonald's. So for those of you who think I'm some, some tyrant father and trainer, I'm not. Uh, so today... So one week from today, exactly one week from today, I will be done with my speaker training in San Diego, right? So in one week, that part will be over. Right now, I'm nervous about it. Hey, Teresa. Right now, I'm looking forward to it with some anxiety, with some excitement. And next Thursday, so, so, my, so the seminar, the training is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all day long grinding, getting better at speaking, getting better at presentation, getting better at body language, stage presence, confidence. So one, so three whole days of that. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, nine to five training. Thursday, I'll be back here, home, and it'll be over, right? So I thought about it, and the problem we have with our dream chasing, with our goal chasing, is we don't look at it that way. We don't understand that that this this test is only an hour, right? Or studying for this test is only a week. Or hey, baby doll. Or this workout is only an hour. Or this this conference call that I have to lead is only an hour. And in one hour from now, it's going to be over. In one week from now, it's going to be over. In, in three hours from now, this game will be over. Whatever you're nervous about, whatever you're scared about, whatever is painful or uncomfortable, it will be over in a finite amount of time, right? Your career in, in high school or Pop Warner will be over in four years. You know, you're preparing for graduate school and, and undergrad is over in four years. This 100 meter dash is gonna be over in 15 seconds or 12 seconds, whatever it is. This 400 meter dash is over in, in about a minute. So when we when we look at it that way, it should make it easier to deal with the pain and the angst and the anxiety. Because if we're willing to deal with that temporary pain, knowing what's on the back end of that, it makes it easier, right? When I work out, I know it's gonna hurt, but only for an hour. Right? I know I'm getting ready for this three days of training, but it'll be over in three days, right? I know that certain things scare me, like doing a, doing a, a, a Facebook Live still gives me some anxiety, but it'll be over in five minutes or 10 minutes, or whatever it is, it's gonna be over and I will be alive. So the ability to accept that pain, knowing that when you come through it, you're gonna have something to be proud of and be happy about because either way you're gonna come through it i always tell my son and my and his his team when they have a, a game in two hours this game is going to be over and only you can decide how you're going to feel after that right this workout is over in one hour and only you can decide right now if you're gonna be happy about it sad about it lasse about it whatever you decide but you gotta decide going into it so as I get ready for this, this training, I'm nervous. I've seen some of the videos, it's gonna be uncomfortable, right? But I know if I go all in, if I, if I let, let go of my fear, if I let go of my anxiety, if I let go of all these, all these inhibitions that we all have about being embarrassed, about being scared, if I let go of it for three days, when I come back here next Thursday, I will be different. I will be a different person if I can do that. If you give all you got in this game, in this event, in this program, if you give all you got for three hours, at the end of the game, you will be different, right? But you gotta decide going into the game that I'm gonna be all in. Going into that class, I'm gonna be all in. It's 10 weeks of the course, right? In 10 weeks, it's gonna be over. Whether you are, are better for it, whether you feel good about it or bad about it, it's gonna be over in 10 weeks and only you can decide whether or not you feel good about it. Right, Bill? So. That's the trick to being great. It's not about having the right tools all the time, 
having the right mentors or teachers or coaches. It's about you deciding that this pain that I'm gonna go through for an hour, for an event, for a game, for a class, for a season, for, 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 a, sem for a semester, whatever it is, I'm gonna be all in. And I will accept the pain that is temporary because I know on the back end that whatever comes with that is worth it. If it ain't worth it, then why are you doing the class? If that, if, that, if, that, if that gift on the back end ain't worth it, why are you playing the game? Why are you doing the workout? So you know in your heart and your mind that on the back end of that is a prize worth having. If it's worth having, then be all in and accept the pain that comes with it. Because when it's over, it's over. And nothing for me, for me, there's nothing worth worse than finishing a game that you lost and, and didn't play well and didn't go all in. There's nothing worse than finishing a workout and going home knowing you didn't give your all. To me, that's how I am. So in one week, it's Thursday at 541. In one week, I will be already back here in San Jose, in Gilroy, at home, after three days of a seminar, of training, of me trying to be better at what I want to do, and that's do this on a large scale and speak. I have an opportunity that's three days long, right? So it's up to me to grab it. It's up to me to, to cherish it, up to me to own it. It's up to me to take advantage of it. The opportunity you have for that workout, for that class, for that game is finite. Only you can decide if it's worth it or not. Only you can decide when you're done with it if you paid the price necessary to make it worth it. And so in one week, next Thursday, I'm coming back here from training, I'm gonna be different. Why? Because I've decided to be different when I come back. I've just decided now to be all in, to make it worth it, to come back different. So tomorrow when you go to work and you're in that board meeting or that staff meeting, or you go to work out for an hour in that boot camp class, or you have a, a, a test to study for, or a practice, or a game to play, or an event to do in track. It's only a finite amount of time. It's only a minute, or, a, a, or, or an hour, or three hours, or a day. Whatever it is, it's finite, and only you can decide what it's gonna be. Only you can decide that, not me. Not your wife, not your kids, only you can decide if you come out of that whether you'll be better or worse or the same, right? But one way or another, that three hours is gonna come, it's gonna come to an end and it's gonna be up to you what the result of that is, all right? So have that in mind, guys, when you, when you go through stuff, when you go through pain that you've decided to do because you want something, when you get into that, that moment of discomfort, of pain, understand that it's it's for a reason. The time is finite, right? And after that, it'll all be over. Either way, in an hour from this test starting, it's gonna be over, either way. In, in 12 seconds after I start this 100 meter dash, it'll be over, either way. In three hours, this game will be over, either way. So you decide going into it, how you're gonna feel after it's over, but you gotta decide before it starts. All right, guys? So I'll check in before next Thursday, I'm sure. But if I don't, I promise you, when I come back next Thursday, I will be different because I chose going into it to be different. All right, guys, love you. Talk to you soon.